Today I'm going to teach you how to protect your house from the British in eight different steps. What weapon should you get in order to protect your house? Should you use a weapon of your choice between the following options that are listed after the sentence? The best weapons are matchlock musket, pistols, rifles, long rifles, knives, and bayonets, tomahawks, axes, swords, sabers, or pole arms. The best of these for farm ranges are the guns. Matchlock musket, pistol, rifles, or long rifles. For close-up fights, you want to use knives, saber, or swords. For either one, you should get a tomahawk or hatchet. Now that tomahawk or hatchet. Now that you have a weapon, how do you use a weapon in battle when you don't use it when... How do you use a weapon in battle when you don't even know how to use it? Pistols are used by loading the gun with gunpowder, then a bullet. After you have to learn to aim the gun and handle the backfire, any of the guns with a, within a rifle, a long rifle, or a musket are used by using the are used by using the pole arms to shove gunpowder in. Then after you do that, put the musket ball or any ammunition in it. Then the last step is to aim it and then shoot. The tomahawks are the hatchets used by throwing them. You can practice this if you want to. Because you don't have anything expensive, you can practice by target and throwing it at the target, which on which is on the tree. You can which you can do on a tree. You can do the same exact thing with your axes because they're like tomahawks. If you get them small enough for close combat, you can have two tomahawks or one big axe. The tomahawks are used by swinging them at the enemy with enough control so that you can actually see what you're going to hit. If you want to use a big axe, then you have to use both hands and have to swing it at the enemy control as you have power as well. Long before all that they were getting, they there comes the private army letters, so you would want them to use it in sea battle. Strategics from Americans, and they can interfere the plans. How should you keep your house safe without any arms? Things are hard to protect without any weapons, so what should you do if the British come and, and you're armless? Do you do a hand-on-hand -hand fight? Maybe that's not the smartest idea ever. When you're harmless, you have three choices. Choices. Water with a soldier. Hello. Would you would you leave me alone if I joined the British Army? No. Yes. Okay. I'll join the British Army. Hmm. What should you do if they don't go away after you warn them? If you still don't want to hurt the British soldier and he won't go away, you can hit him in a spot where it doesn't hurt that much. You can give away badly. You can give away all your stuff and make him go away. Still keep your household safe if you can help the British or you can become a Tory. If you don't want to do that then, you would have to resort to violence and shoot them and you can strike them with the blade of the weapon and get, and get them to And they will rage on you and if they're a slave then instead of a soldier, and if they're a slave, then instead of a soldier, they will soon turn into a very mad person. If they still don't go away, you can make them stay still for the rest of your life by shooting them until they die or make them bleed out of somewhere far away while he's still passed out. What should you do if, if you love violence and a British person comes? If you like violence and a British person comes, what should you do?
What should you do? If you are a strong belief in violence, then you can tar and feather him, or you can start shooting his face until he is completely covered in blood. Then after the British will know that you are very cruel and will go away if you're if you put a dummy of yourself in front of them and also put it that it looks like there's a lot of soldiers that are making their dummies with boobs in their hands. There's soldiers and arm them with brooms and make them look like you have lots of soldiers that are ready for battle and are able to and are able to cut number in the British. You can also make it look like they have lots of gunpowder by putting wine barrels out and make them look like gunpowder. Those are all the steps of how to protect your house from the British. Now it's time for you to try and follow and accomplish these steps and protect your house. If you, if you are most likely to be to able to keep a safe household. Thank you for watching. And now you can follow these steps and do what you can do to protect your house.